Well, g'day, curd nerds. Welcome to day eight of the Cheese of Day Challenge. Today's cheese is a red rind cheese, and it's made by Costello. Uh, this is, well, they call it red rind. So not much imagination went into the name, of course. But yeah, an amazing little cheese, I think. Let me just read what it says. Uh, it says, rich and buttery with piquant flavours and subtle fruity notes. 150 grams, cost me $8 Australian, so it wasn't cheap. Uh, and it's made in, it's made in Denmark, which is great. Um, ingredients for this cheese is milk, cream, salt, lactic acid culture, non-animal rennet microbial, blue mold culture, white mold culture, Maturing culture, red smear culture, uh, contains milk. And the fat content of the cheese is 42 grams. So that is absolutely massive. So the red rind cheese, I would imagine, um, because it hints at the red smear culture, would use brevi bacterial linens. But because it says it's got blue mold culture and white mold culture in it, look, this is going to be very interesting little cheese, I would think. So let's have a look. Comes a nice little cardboard box. Let's put that aside for a second. It's wrapped up. Let's have a smell. It smells like your typical Brevi Bacteria Linens cheese. A little bit gooey on the other side, but that's good. So it looks like it must have been made in a, like a long roll and they've like cut it. Um, so that is very, very interesting. So yeah, so you can see that red smear around the outside and it's been pierced as well. It's got holes all the way through around the outside. You can see a little bit of white mold on the surface of where they've cut it. Uh, but yeah, it looks, it's very interesting, very sticky and very red. <laughs> oh, just get rid of that. Almost the same color as my lovely apron, I think. <laughs> All right. Very excited about trying this cheese. Right, let's, let's have a piece off the side. Now, for smell, let's have a look. What have we got? Well, it smells like smelly socks. There, there are no words on the wheel. Mold, yeasty, musty, musty. Yeah, is probably the word for it, for the smell. Um, smells like Breviabacterial linens that I'm used to. So yeah, let's, let's try some. That is really good. Definitely, um, there are buttery notes, which is good. A little bit of a sweetness. A um, little bit of a spiciness. Um, gra grassy and hay, maybe. Yeah, a little bit. Um, but yeah, got a great flavour. And the paste itself is oozy and this you can see within the holes where they've made where they pierced it the white mold is on the inside this is this is a very weird cheese as far as the structure i've never seen anything like it before so white mold on the inside where they pierced it to add to a bit of a uh, little bit of mushroomy flavor there yeah that's what it is Mm. but buttery smooth that just coats the whole mouth melts in the mouth really the odor's kind of gone now the smelly socks that it 
you know, you normally associate with a red smear. Mm. That. That is like an inside out camembert that's been washed in um, bee linens to give the red smear, but yeah, very nice. Very nice, so much so that I'm going for the third piece. It's best on crackers because I think it adds a little bit to the texture, I think. Um, uh, because uh, as this gets warmer and warmer, you're gonna see this start to ooze a lot more as well. Mm. Yeah, very nice. That is, um, well done Costello for bringing um, red rind cheese or washed rind cheese to uh, the mass market. That is, that is really nice and that's something special. So yeah, very pleased with that. Um, uh, I'd definitely serve that on a platter. That'd really, you know, if you're gonna have a few different styles of cheese, this one's gonna stand out. So yeah, if you can get your hands on it, uh, get some Costello red rind. Very worth the money, that's for sure. So one of my favorite red rind cheeses, or washed rind cheeses, is Tilsit. So if you wanna make that yourself, then go and check out the video in the end card or in the info card. Well, thanks for watching, Curd Nerds, and I'll see you tomorrow on day nine of the Cheese-A-Day Challenge.